Hi everyone! Today is going to be a bit of an experimental video and I'm going to revisit one of my older um, pages in my Jane Davenport canvas journal. So, um, I've done a little video a while ago where I mentioned these polychromous um, pencils that I purchased in skin tones and I think there were six but they are oil based um, pencils and um, so that means they're good for layering and um, that is what I want to do today so I want to play around with them because actually since uh, this video I haven't really experimented that much with them and I um, I'm going to use one of the watercolors today i'm going to combine watercolors with pencils try and try to create a nice skin tone and give uh, the skin a bit of depth which is something i don't do uh, naturally but today i want to see how it's going to look so i'm going to use the triple salted caramel from the um from this cute um rachel buff watercolors palette this palette was custom made so i asked uh, rachel to create um, to take out a couple of uh, colors that came in this palette and add some other ones so that's maybe why it's not looking like the cupcakes and cocktail palette that you know of so i'm going to go into this lovely watercolor and try and create a face shape So I'm just going to give her a little body over here, just the beginning of it, just the shoulders. And as the watercolor is starting to dry, I can see these lovely um, um, shimmers coming through. Uh, for the eyes, I'm going to lift the watercolor this time, like so which I figured out is the easiest way to do. So you just wet the watercolor and then dab it off with the um, piece of tissue and it's very easy to manage that way. So I will leave the watercolor dry completely. And I'm thinking while that's happening, actually, I might want to add a little bit of Mai Tai. It's a, such a gorgeous color. I will feel a little bit sad when I run out of it for the cheek. So I'm going for a whimsical look today. And I'm going to leave the cheeks nice and round. Okay, so before I start with the pencils, I'm going to actually try and draw in the face. I'm going to begin with big eyes, lips, like so. Usually I set the eyes a bit lower, but it is what it is today. I'm just going to go in and give her a nice winged eyeliner and actually for that I think I'm going to go to this sailor pen just because it works so much better oh, the nip seems to have dried up I haven't used it in a while so let me just try and do what I usually do I'm a bit surprised that the nip is already dry. I mean, it's such a thick nip. So I'm just going to do this. As you can see, some watercolor comes up, um, some ink comes out, and there it is. So it should work now, hopefully. I'm going to do just in case again. That should be enough. Let's see. Yeah, so now the ink is flowing nicely. So 
this pen is allowing me to create a very strong eyeliner really quickly without needing to use a very super fine nib and going back and forth so I'm just going to try and create symmetry here um, so this eye seems to be a bit more like that I guess and then the bottom line we're going to thicken that up as well and I will leave it at that I'll just give her super fine lashes and then I'm going to go back in to the eye and she'll be looking straight ahead but it will be like a dreamy kind of look right so at this point I think we should be able to concentrate on the face on the skin so I hope you can see the lovely shimmer of this watercolor so I want to concentrate predominantly on highlighting and contouring the face so for the contour you can see on here I'm going to use cinnamon which I think is this one yes so this one is going to be the contour so contour is usually applied over here but also it's taken up to the temples a little bit oh I realized I didn't draw in the eyebrows hence why she's looking a little bit weird so I'm just going to give her a medium eyebrow nothing too drastic this time right and then I'm going to go back into contouring so I'm um, using very little pressure here and it actually works really nice as hopefully you can see let me just zoom in touch for you so hardly any pressure and it works really really nicely um, I really like this technique and James Berg uses it a lot in his girls illustrations which I really like and I wanted to try for myself as well so it's not that difficult just a very little touch it's a lot of blending and then same thing here again taking it on the temple and slightly here just to give that dimension like so making sure you blend it out to nothing and that way it won't look very striking or like a hard line sorry I got my window open today because it's not as hot as the other week but still quite warm and pleasant outside so I'm going to also give her a little bit of depth around here here it doesn't really that much if I'm going to blend out or not because I'm going to make this black kind of flow out a little bit in a while and then for let's see for the nose I'm going to use this ivory see if I can highlight it a little bit and I'm also going to apply this highlighter as a highlighter but I can't see much highlighting to be honest with you um, someone told me that this white um, is not really great for highlighting because it's sort of more of a blending tool or blending pencil rather than highlighting um, I mean I definitely could highlight it here which you can see there is white so you can see the white um, but yeah it does blend as well as highlight so I'm going to try actually should add some lip I'm not sure what lip I'm going to go for 
I'll go for this one. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go into the darker color and just darken up the corners to give her a more plump kind of lip. And then I'll try to use this white one and just go in the middle to try and lift it a little bit and it worked really well as you can see here okay at this point let me give her a little chalker right here um, like so And in terms of hair, I don't know, I kind of like her bald at the moment, but I definitely should give her some hair. So I'm going to kind of create something easy. she's going to get short hair like so and a little ear okay let me just color in the ear a little bit to make it blend I feel like going in a bit stronger for the contouring like so and then try and blend it out you know I don't agree that this pencil is more for blending than highlighting because I get a lot of white there uh, so that's my opinion you definitely get white in there So at this point I'm quite happy but I just am looking where I would want to add a little bit more of a shadow sort of thing and here under the hair that would be quite nice if anything for blending depending on what color you're working this is much better it's the ivory because you don't see it as much as the white so if you are interested in a blending color I could recommend that one so I hope you can see how much difference it makes actually it's really really nice to use polychromos or with watercolors quite like it actually I'm going to go into the white here for the nose just because it does do what I needed to do for a highlight and then underneath the eye here I want to highlight it and then a bit of shadow just in the middle right here like so sometimes people take this part here a bit more out so And then just blend this bit out like so and just to finish off I think I like her but I find the eyes are way too striking and I always like to add a bit of water now let's see how it's going to work on top of these polychromos and it seems to be all right I like it to bleed out a bit underneath as well just not creating too much mass here I want the polychromos to still be seen underneath to create that warmth and let's see just darkening this up I'll try and see if I can lift 
this one here in the middle because it's too much. It's lifting a little bit, but uh, it's also lifting the watercolor, so I'll just leave it at that. And yeah, that is an interesting little combo here. So try it if you like it and let me know how you get on. Let me just give you a little close up and I really like it, I do. It's a nice little effect you can get, quite striking but sort of um, a little bit more um, worked on, you know, I usually don't go through that much of effort of creating um, contour or sort of these sort of shadows, I usually do that with watercolour if I need to. Um, or I'm using ink as a shadowing, but this is quite nice as well. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you soon.